Hello from one of the oldest venues in Spanish football, the Estadio de Mendi Tarota, which dates back to 1924. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Alaves, and they take on Real Valladolid. Thanks, Derek. Good atmosphere here. Everybody looking forward to what should be a really entertaining game. Here's the Alaves starting lineup. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. The starting 11 for Real Valladolid. It does look as though they will mirror their opponents with a conventional 4-4-2 formation, Lee. Yeah, and when you go against a 4-4-2 and you're playing it yourself, you match up in midfield, and that's the important area. Sometimes when you play two midfield players, you can get outnumbered when a number 10 comes in between you, but it's not the case today. It's all about individuals against individuals. Who's going to come out on top? Battaglia. Well, the visitors today frequently live and die on the break. Lee, is that the approach you expect to see from them? Yes, Derek, it looks like classic counter-attack football for the visitors today. You have to be comfortable with not having the ball for long periods of the time playing like that. I think they can do it, though. Oscar Plano. Now with Alcaraz. What can they do from here? It needs an accurate cross. It looks promising. And struggling to get the shot off. And a very good challenge. And attempting the through ball. Rosino! And a goal! An early boost for them, the first goal of the game, they're off and running. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And the pressure comes as he knew it would, but it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. The opening goal of the game then. Gol del Alaves. Con el 9, José Lu. Bataglia. Onto la guardia. Pina. Now José Lu. Bataglia. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And can they create something? In it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here we see it again and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement and the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. It's going their way, 2-0. Gol del Alaves. Con el 9, José Lu. Michel. Recordamos a los aficionados. Sean Weissman. Este estadio hay que animar. Vamos, gente. 
Now with Alcaraz. Nice looking pass. Not showing good patience. Mitchell. Now with Oriana. Ruben Alcaraz. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Vital interception, the danger was very real. Luis Perez. It's a good looking ball in behind. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Chance to reduce the arrears. Well, to deny him from point-blank range like that, brilliant. Well, really, really strong goalkeeping. Spread himself, used all of his body, really good save. Well, you can see what the manager thinks. They just haven't been clinical enough today. So the corner played into the box, but he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. Well, Derek, I feel for him. I really do. It's just not happening in front of goal for his team today. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And in with a real chance. And so it is, the first half story has been written. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Joaquin. Bruno. Nacho. Possession changing hands. Lucas Perez and played in what a lovely strike lethal piece of finishing drilled home with true conviction tremendous goal well here's the replay it's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area and you have to say it's absolute masterclass in technique Superb body position to get that volley away. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. Luis Rioja! Battaglia. Pina. Well, he's given us away.
And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Well, look at that. Alaves enjoying the lion's share of possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Mitchell. Joaquin. Ruben Alcaraz. Can they find a gap in the defence? Sergi Guardiola. Now with Alcaraz. Michel. Fabian Oriana. Ruben Alcaraz. On to Alcaraz. Sean Weissman. What can he do from here? Michel. Now with Alcaraz. Michel. On to Alcaraz. Weissman. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. Can he put it away? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Ruben Alcaraz. Sergi Guardiola. He's got the right idea with that pass. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Entrará en su lugar con el 20, Fede San Emeterio. Fabian Oriana. Sean Weissman. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And they were certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly 